say this because uh, we saw that when Article 370 was taken back, you went there, you went to Kashmir, you spoke to the people. We saw that happening. Uh, what do you have to say to people who are victims of these lone wolf attacks which are happening? Yes, I agree that uh, you know there are that terrorism as such from uh, from Pakistan is gone. But then these are these lone wolf attacks, soft targets which are going. How? How will you cope with that? How will terror end in every form in Kashmir? Well, this is a this is a problem of security, and we are dealing with it, and we are dealing with effectively. We are firstly, you must understand one thing. Post two thousand nineteen, the mood and the temper of the people of Kashmir has totally changed. People are no more in favor of Pakistan, in favor of terrorism, in favor of uh, this thing. You can see. Where is Huriyat today? Where are those band calls? Where is this Friday hartals? They have all gone this thing like that. But some individuals, some young boys who are misled or who are uh, this thing, they are getting into this thing. We are doing our best to persuade them. Their families are trying to persuade them. Lot of change has come about, but still there are few pure persons and some uh, uh, individual. Tanzims, the militant organizations and others who are still operated and go by a mistaken notion of uh, their beliefs or whatever is that that they want to be the fidaeins and they want to come, they do create problems for us. We are fighting them, so, and we are fighting them with 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 total resolve. There is no way to deal with the terrorists. We don't deal with terrorism. We have to deal with the terrorists, and terrorists, their equipment. Their weapons, their explosives, their money, and we on all fronts are trying to tackle it, and so we are very hopeful that in another few months we'll be able to get it. The Kashmiri Hindus, especially the pundits, uh, they feel very let down. To some of them, that there is so much energy expended in bringing these terrorists or militants or separatists back into the mainstream, that those who have supported. Uh, Mr. Modi, the BJP, and this government all through that they are being taken for granted, and their security is not of paramount concern to the security establishment. Firstly, I don't think that is the uh, that is the real feeling of uh, all Kashmiri pundits or uh, people who have been displaced. But yes, they are uh, uh, vulnerable section. They need protection. They have got to be protected. Government has taken various measures in the past. Probably. Much more has to be done, and that is being done. We have got to see that wherever they are and whatever protection they require, because they can be the soft targets, and no government will be able to give an individual protection to each individual in any village or far off places. So we have to find out the systems, and best thing is that we go on the offensive against the terrorists and try to see that these persons who possibly can threaten their um, their lives or their properties and others. They are accounted for. So, uh, where are we?